I'm adding a new segment to this channel that focuses on luxury real estate around the world that is affordable. Now, I'm always fascinated by the kind of opportunities that exist around the world. And most importantly, I always, always encourage traveling and experiencing life outside of your home country. So with that being said, welcome to this beautiful loft apartment located in Panama City, Panama. So I was lucky to call this place my home for a little while just about a month and this unit is by far one of the most beautiful places i've stayed in thus far this is a one bedroom one and a half bathroom unit 173 square meters which translates to just under 2,000 square feet and it's two floors obviously because it's a loft first thing you see when you enter this unit is this giant open living space with high ceilings top to bottom windows on two sides of the unit which is amazing because there's always an abundance of daylight with gorgeous views of the city. Oh, and let's not forget the front entrance, beautiful wooden, huge door that just towers over you like you typically see in luxury real estate. And then when you walk in, first thing to the left is your powder room. And let's not forget this beautiful seating area here with this massive chandelier hanging over you. Now, you may be wondering, where is the entertainment? Where is the TV? Well, this is one of my favorite features of this unit. Get ready for this. You have your own massive screen that comes down from the ceiling. You have your projector installed right there and amazing surround sound audio with Bose speakers. This is just the perfect area to sit down, relax, watch a movie at night. And of course, you have the beautiful city views. Now moving on to the kitchen. First you have this beautiful massive island. It has an electric stove top and a small sink. So what you need to know about Panama is that majority of the kitchens in Panama are kosher, which means you're going to get two sinks. Super convenient. Everything is stainless steel. The one downside about this kitchen is that it doesn't have a dishwasher. So Cleaning up takes a little bit more time. Then you have this adorable wine cooler. And I really, really love this brick wall accent. It's probably my favorite thing about this kitchen. And then through this door, you have the in-suite laundry unit with an extra sink. This island also features a bar stool seating area. Then you have your dining table here with again, gorgeous views of the city. One of my other favorite features about this unit is the automatic window shades. So you have your remote and with the press of a button, you can put them down. This feels very grand. As you can see, it gets very dark immediately, which is especially useful if you feel like watching a movie during the day. However, Panama does get dark pretty early, 7 p.m. it's nighttime. And of course, this is where I've been filming my videos for the past month. And fun fact, because this place is so bright, I have not needed to use the lighting equipment at all. It's been all natural lighting. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you guys, let's move on. Brings me to the next part. This beautiful shelving area that's behind me in every single video. Um, it can easily double as a bar area or you can customize it to be whatever you want. There's just so much space here. And right here we have the balcony, which is on the smaller side. Now, once I open this door, it will get much louder. Woo! Very bright outside. And the view is of the neighboring building's pool, which does make me a little bit jealous. And I'll tell you guys why in just a little bit. And this leads me to the staircase. And as you can see, it is also surrounded by beautiful tall windows. So again, an abundance of light, even on gloomy days, which is amazing. So let's go check out upstairs, follow me. Now, the first thing you see when you enter the second level is our editing space with an abundance of closet space. Now, I know that our desk is set up in a very odd space given all of the room available here. However, it is the one spot where the AC does not hit you directly. We have the giant chandelier here that lights both the top and the bottom floor. And then if you follow me this way, this is where the bathroom is. You have a double vanity sink, his and hers, which is amazing. And behind you here, you have the toilet and the shower. I do find it a little bit odd that there's no distinct separation between the bathroom and bedroom, 
However, you do still have a door both on the toilet and the shower, so you get the privacy that you need, but I do think that a wall would be beneficial. And then we have this very large walk-in closet with a ton of shelving and hanging space, which is fantastic. Although we're not heavy travelers anymore, so majority of the space was empty. I just find that traveling light is much easier and less of a headache and it costs less because you don't have to pay for all those luggages. And then we have the bedroom. Wide open, lots of space, very bright, perfect for waking up in the morning. Again, you're surrounded by windows with beautiful view of the city when you wake up and go to bed. And this is a king size bed. So it goes to show just how large this space is. It almost looks small. So let's get to the price. If you're looking to rent a unit like this, this one currently goes for 1600 US dollars per month. And that is with all of your utilities included. That means your water, electricity, gas, and internet. Although most places will not come with electricity or internet, that is usually the tenant's responsibility. However, depending on the owner, you may be able to negotiate it and you may be able to negotiate the rental price. So just for reference, because I'm Canadian, 1600 US dollars is around 2100 Canadian dollars. Now in Toronto, which is where I'm from, you can maybe get a 400 square foot studio for this price, which is kind of ridiculous and it's probably even more now. Now keep in mind, this place is almost 2000 square feet. Big difference. Now, if you're looking to purchase a place like this, these go for around 300 to 350,000 US dollars. And of course, these prices are negotiable as well. Now let's get to some of the downsides because we can't only talk about the positives. For one, and probably the most important one, is maintenance. Some units in Panama are going to need more regular maintenance than others, and that is strictly because of humidity. Six months out of the year is the dry season, and the other six months is the rainy season. And unfortunately, the humidity can cause mold buildup, especially around window coverings and curtains, as you can see right here. Now, generally, buildings that have more windows have less issues with mold but it is highly advised that you take regular care because you don't wanna live in a place that has mold as it can cause health issues. Other than that, AC is a must. Panama is located pretty much on the equator, so it's always hot, which means you're going to be using your AC regularly, which means you're going to want to do regular maintenance. And it's advised to do it every three to four months because the last thing you want is your AC breaking down when it's 31 degrees Celsius outside or around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not gonna be fun. Next issue specifically to this building is the amenities. Now they do have a lap pool and a small gym. However, I've never actually seen anybody in the pool. Uh, we did try the gym. Now it's very small. There's no air circulation. It's also very dark. And as for the pool, I don't think they do regular maintenance on it. And I think that is because of the lack of use. Overall, certain buildings have much better maintenance than other buildings. So it's something you definitely want to look out for, especially if it's important to you. And that is why we were very jealous constantly looking at the neighboring building's pool because we don't have one. And when it's really hot outside, all you wanna do is just go swim and relax by the pool. So really the main reason why we're relocating is for better amenities. And just so you know, the base currency in Panama is US dollar. It's a very developed city, very modern. You have all of your high-end American stores and restaurants, food chains. So it feels very familiar. And that is pretty much it for this tour. Overall, such a gorgeous unit and super affordable for its price and location. So it's definitely worth the money. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. 